I'm Franz Bronzernick, and welcome to the Ask Show video of uh, our radio show podcast, uh, Franz Bronzernick's Head Full of Useless Information Today. Thank you. This is part two of two uh, with uh, my father, Frank Bronzernick. Um, and uh, uh, we just uh, did uh, part one and two back to back. Um, you're a television producer. You've made over 150 movies. Um, you've worked with every actor that's ever worked. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I gotta say, I learned, I grew, uh, growing up with you and being on the sets and, and, and then later working with you and, and, and I, I've learned so much about how to, how to be a man and how to interact with people and, uh, uh, professionally and, and and socially, and how to treat people with respect, and more, I, more times than I could I can even I, I can pretend to count, uh, uh, an actor or somebody that you've worked with, a director, somebody, a grip, and this is true story. This is this is true. I'm not making this up. Has come to me while I'm working on something. Oh, I work with your dad, and then later they come up to me and they say. You know what, I gotta say, working with your dad, working on one of your dad's movies, is the best experience. You, you're treated with respect, you're fed, you're, uh, you know, you're listened to, they're good sets, and, you know, I, I always want to do a, a Frank Von Zernick movie because it's such a great experience. And... And what the a producer... I'm talking, excuse no, me. No, I'm kidding, I'm joking, I'm talking too much. Yeah. The producer has to be the person at the top, has to remain calm, has to be able to solve problems and make people feel as if everything's going to be handled, that they're listened to, that they're taken care of, uh, and that it'll be all right. Even when you know in your heart that it's uh, crumbling, because if you crumble, they'll crumble. Well, there's a story about you doing uh, Surviving Savage Seas and you're shooting uh, uh, on the open water and you have your cranes and everything. And I, I'm not uh, telling you a secret story. This is from an interview. And what? And the guy wasn't using the cranes. And he yeah, was the, 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 the man who was directing the movie, and remember, was shooting 10,000 miles from Hollywood. Yeah. Out on the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia. And uh, Robert Urich was in it, and Steve McQueen's Allie McGraw, Allie McGraw was yeah. in it, and uh, it just wasn't going well. It was, it was going very slowly, and I, I was on. We were shooting in the open water, and there's a camera boat, and I'm on the main boat where the dressing rooms are, and I was trying to, you know, gee, let's let's get going. It's going to rain. What about that shot? And the director came over to me after the pulled his boat. He says, you know what? Why don't you do it? Why don't you direct the picture? Yeah. yeah. And I thought, okay, 10,000 miles from Hollywood, nothing much I can do. <laughs> so you're just like, all right, everything's going to be fine. Uh -huh. And I learned then, don't get crazy. Don't say to the actor, we're losing the light. Can you hurry up? Let other people do that. You're the producer. You have to make, remain calm and support everybody. Support the director. You're doing great. A little faster would be fine, but whatever you're doing, you're getting great stuff. I remember we were shooting in New York, and I'm not going to name names. Shooting in New York, it's 6 o'clock, it's getting dark, and the actress, a big star, mm -hmm. uh, hurt her back. And she wasn't, she said, I, you know, I can't do the last scene. I, I, I just can't do it. I said, well, I'm going to put you in a chair. You don't have to stand up. We'll only shoot it this way, then we'll shoot the other part. No, I'm in the motor home with her. No, I can't. My back is killing me. I said, I tell you what. You go out. You do this scene. I will get on the phone right now. Because we're in New York. And I will arrange for the Warner Brothers jet. Because I'm friendly with the people at Warner Brothers. To pick you up in the morning and fly you to Cedars uh, Sinai. And you'll have your back looked at. Uh, okay, all right, all right. And she went out and did the scene. And the guy was with me. The AD said... Can you really do that? I said, no. Yeah, yeah. Of course not. Yeah. But 
the actress went on to the scene, back felt better. And, uh, uh, was, oh, so what? She didn't say, okay, what time is my no, plane? No, she forgot about it. Oh, I feel a little better now. Yeah. Well, that, that's, I mean, the, you, you, these, are good, these are great stories, but they're also advice. Because that was my next question. What would be this is advice on how to, I don't know, be a successful producer, but be a good producer. When people come to you with issues and problems, listen to them, and then make it clear, I'll take care of it. What, uh, uh, besides th that, because that's like, th that's what a producer does, uh -huh. right? Is you make, uh, you tell me if I'm wrong. My perception is that he's the person that, n n Allow, that allows the people to do their jobs, as a, like as a as the director, that I feel safe and secure that things are going to be taken care of, where I can do, I, I, where the like the director or the grip or whatever can do their jobs. Say, all right, I'm able to have the freedom to do my, the task that I've. Been Sometimes the to. director will come to you and say, you know what, I'm going to shoot the scene from the point of view of a bird in a tree, mm -hmm. and it'll be, you know, the, that'll be fantastic. We'll uh -huh. see everything, and I say, great idea, do it. The only thing is, <laughs> see, see if you get a close up. <laughs> you know, drop the camera well, down to a close up uh, here and there. Yeah, yeah. But it sounds great to well, me. Yeah, yeah. We so won't use it. We'll have it. Yeah, well. <laughs> and then you get back, and you know, you can't see anything from the tree yeah. point of view, so you drop down to the close ups. Yeah. And the guy says, Oh, I'm glad I got that yeah, close up yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. I think you did that with me. With the, it could with the be. scene of yeah. the badge. He's unwrapping the badge. Get it tight. Get it tight. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What advice, and, 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 and if any, there's a lot of young producers who, who listen to the show and who are around. And, uh, you know, who, who haven't had an experience or maybe about to produce their first thing. or What, what advice would you give them? You have to know in your head those elements that you're going to ultimately need in the cutting room. And if you get to the cutting room and you don't have those elements, then you're really messed up. So you try to let people do what they do, costumes, uh, but just make sure it's not a stripe across the guy that goes like that on the screen. Right, right. You know, so you try and give people the, the freedom to do what they do, but at the same time protecting the movie. Okay, all And right. you do it without being an autocrat, or, yeah, you can't wear that, and you can't do it that way. Let's try it. Let's okay. see what it looks like. You know what? We'll do one with just a shirt. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll all right, all right. Yeah. What about pre-production? What about the process of, uh, I want to pitch this idea, I, I, I want to get in this room, uh, uh, okay, they greenlit it, now what do I do? I, you, don't, you don't have to have an answer, but I'm thinking, what do you wish somebody had told you? When you, were um, you know, how not to fight back. Okay. Uh, in other All words, right. when you go and you pitch an idea and they say, oh, I don't like it. no, it's really a good one, you let go of it. Because oh. once they say no, it's, you know, take, oh, no okay. take no for an answer. Oh, now, okay. there are some people who say never take no for an answer, and maybe that works sometimes. <clears throat> I find as if you come back another way. Oh, you know okay. I mean? All right. You didn't like that one, but suppose we change it to uh, Hong Kong. And the guy is a Chinese person. Oh, oh, oh boy, Chinese no, is hot no, right now. No. Maybe that we can. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or he's a zombie. How about that? Now we're cooking. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, zombie. Yeah. Same okay. thing. Same story, except he's a blood-sucking zombie. Uh, all right. What's well, they're doing now in movies? No, everything's so, oh that opened today, which this we're we're oh, airing this later, but today. Z, whatever, yeah. yeah, World War Z. It looks good, Mark Forrester. Directing, yeah. All right. Um, thank you very much. Invite me back, and remember, we'll be done. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, hear the rest, click on the link above or below. <laughs> click on the link above or below and listen to the podcast uh, 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 version of the show. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. So.